Hi everyone, I'm Virginia Duan, also known as Mandarin Mama. I'm the entertainment editor for Mochi Magazine, which is the longest running online uh, Asian American women's magazine. I'm also a freelance writer and editor, as well as the host of the Nuna Army podcast, uh, which is currently on hi hiatus, but it's a podcast dedicated to the particular challenges and aspects of being a middle-aged BTS fan. Um, today, you might, for longtime viewers, you might notice a new setup. I got sick of sitting in my bed uh, after th three years of being a bed potato, as my children call me. I have decided that I will, I set up a desk in the corner of my room, and this is probably the neatest my bed has ever seen <laughs> in like a very long time. Those are my children's stuffies, um, just some of them. They have like hundreds. It's ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, so here we are, new setup, um, same quality content, hey! Uh, so today I'll be reacting to Jin's uh, The Astronaut uh, featuring Coldplay. Is it featuring Coldplay or is it written by Coldplay for him? They were co-written together. I haven't seen anything yet. Um, I've read a lot of, the, I've read the translations. I've read um, some of the behind the scenes. I've read uh, the MTV interview by... Uh, uh, Francis Lai and um, a bunch of other articles and stuff and oh and I read the translations to his uh, V Live but I haven't um, seen other other than the teaser and then of course Jin's comments on his V Live about how he is very very handsome which of course he is all right so this is Jin's the astronaut official MV here we go <laughs> He's so pretty. Oh. That's quite a budget. Oh. Oh. First of all, I saw Chris Martin as a newscaster. Second of all, why is Jin's head so small a child can fit his helmet? That's all I have to say. But they made him run this much? <laughs> dangerous folks please wear a helmet when you ride your bike also he's so pretty why is he so pretty oh. <laughs> Oh, 
causing them so much pain. Bike. Also, the poor taste of people passing by Jin. If I wish I could see Jin on the side of the road, and I would stop and I would pick him up, I would kick my own children out of the car or make them sit in the trunk, and I would have Jin sit in my car. These people with no taste. Oh, is that supposed to mirror um, the um, most beautiful life? era where they have the truck and he he's the one driving but now he's the one in the back oh he's so This is LA somewhere, right? Or Southern California? <laughs> oh, he's unbearably handsome. Okay, so uh, mostly I concentrated on the actual video itself. Um, from what I've read, it's uh, Jin is an astronaut and he crash lands onto Earth and then he chooses to stay uh, because he loves ARMY. And then, uh, yeah, I think visually it's very, it actually reminds me a lot of The Little Prince, which uh, was his set for the moon, uh, for moon also. Um, and it's, again, that same image of, you know, well, the little prince, spoiler alert, the little prince, it's debatable whether he dies or is actually transported back to his planet. Um, I think he dies because uh, he gets bitten by a snake, right? Um, and that's the way to transport him. And I feel like uh, in the little prince, he goes back to his planet versus here in the astronaut, he chooses to stay on this planet uh, with us. And... Uh, I think it's supposed to be like a love letter to Army, just like the moon. Uh, just, I keep calling it the moon, just like Moon was. And it's just, it's particularly bittersweet because he's going, he's enlisting, uh, which is, you know, what was expected. Um, and uh, I just can't get over him playing with a little girl. Uh, it reminds me of like my husband playing with the kids. Uh, and also, I'm like super emotional because I'm six months pregnant with my fifth child. So anyway, uh, apologies for that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to watch it again. From what I heard, uh, from what I recall hearing, um, sorry, this is all terrible on camera stuff. Um, from what I recall, I, I really do think the song is very pretty. It's very emotional. Um, it's uh, like a, it's very Coldplay-esque. 
I feel, and it shows off Jin's voice very nicely. Jin has such a bright and clear voice, and I'm really glad they got to showcase it. And, uh, you know, the thing I love about Jin's vocals is that it's not that he couldn't sing when they first started, but he has definitely improved, and he's always so steady live and in concert, and he has such high range, and he's just so hardworking, and um, yeah, he's... This is very sweet. Okay, we're so we're gonna listen to it again. It's um I really like the lyrics and the sound of the song is really pretty. So I'm going to try and focus more on the sound of it this time instead of the stunning visuals. And by stunning visual I don't mean the UFO. I mean Jin. Alright. So here we go again. I'm still a little sniffly. I like the background vocals here. It's almost like chanting. I think it's from Arrival, which is one of my favorite movies ever. You and me, Kanaji and her history. chorus it's so good it's like everything uh, like those it's like that swelling of emotion it's, it totally evokes that I can't have to myself when I'm with you there is no else. oh it's sublime I love the lower register of him. I really like it when they sing lower. Chris Martin in the background vocals
He's burning the ships. Well, I guess it's... I guess he's just sending it back. Man, if you pick up someone as hot as Jim, he should sit in the cab. family and we're his home oh he's just unreasonably good looking it's so unfair you guys we get to look at him for free oh, it's such a it's such a good song to sing along to um it's really a easy melody to to like can you just imagine a whole oh can you just imagine i wonder if they're gonna perform the song tomorrow or tonight it has to be right that's the only reason why he's in <laughs> that's why he's in uh buenos aires or argentina um oh it's gonna be so good ah oh, it's such a i can't wait to hear the whole stadium sing along it's so pretty it's such a good song and uh it's very rock ballad gin i feel like it's very his color if that makes sense his, his style of music um because he's very classic in his t kind of tastes um and it, uh, yeah i i love cold play so um it reminds me of like classic cold play but with like a bit of gin <laughs> or gin and cold, whatever it's a good collab <laughs> okay i can't speak i'm just uh, Oh, it's just so good. It, it just really captures that. Um, man, this light makes my forehead look gigantic. Good Lord. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's a great song. Um, I love it. And I'm glad they released um, a bunch of Jin's songs and singles onto Spotify so that I can loop it with them so yeah it's it was it's beautiful and i really i'm gonna miss him <laughs> when he enlists he's he's my wrecker um uh, for those of you who don't know i i just i just love everything i mean i love all seven obviously but he's definitely my wrecker for a reason so i'm very proud of him and yeah that's it um please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time